Morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Zwifters, and Happy New Year's to those who celebrate. Set your ID here. What I'm going to show you today is a way to get your Zwift data off of your iOS device, whether that's an iPhone or an iPad or even an iPod, to your desktop. And that desktop could be a Mac, it could be a PC, it could be a laptop, it doesn't matter. This is actually really useful if you want to, for example, reintegrate some of your activity data with a third-party service, such as Strava or Training Peaks, or maybe you want to do some analytics on your data with a tool like Golden Cheetah, or maybe you just want to file a bug report with Zwift support and they're asking for some of your logs so you can get your logs back that way. What I've got in front of me is an application called iMazing. iMazing has two versions. There's a free version, which has some trial limitations, and there's a pay version, which removes those trial restrictions. I opted to pay for it because I like to support the developers that make quality applications. So with this application here, you simply connect your iPad or your iPhone with the USB cable. I've just plugged that in. And now it will recognize your iPad or your iPhone device, and it will show you some interesting data about that. There's also some other features and functions that this tool has that allows you to do some advanced things with your device. For example, shut it down, export the raw data. You can clone the device. You can transfer some data to another device, check the warranty, and so on. What I'm really interested in, though, is the application called Swift. So I'm going to click on Apps, and it's going to build a list of all my installed applications. There's quite a few, so this may take a few moments. And what I'm really interested in is the Zwift application that's going to be at the very bottom in the sorted list. Once that's displayed, I'll be able to get into that application by double clicking on it and I'll see two folders here. One is developer, one is documents. Let's just change the view here so we can see that a little better. And just like you would see on a PC or a Mac inside the My Documents folder or Documents, you've got your Zwift folder. Inside the Zwift folder, as we would expect, is just like you would see on the, D on the PC, activities, logs, workouts, and so on. Inside the logs folder are some of the logs from one of my previous rides. Let's say that I wanted to take that log and maybe copy it to the desktop so I could email it off to Zwift support later. I can do that. Uh, I've got a workouts folder here. I don't have any workouts on my iPad at the moment, but I can certainly take some workouts from my desktop here. I can just copy easy, medium, and hard and drag those into the iPad. And now I've got those workouts sitting on my iPad as well. I can modify my preferences. I can do a number of different things here to then integrate some data either with my desktop or take desktop data and integrate it with my iPad if I wanted to. That's it. Pretty straightforward, quick and easy. Get on it. The tool is called iMazing. It's linked in the description of this video below, and you should be able to do this without any issues, without having to jailbreak your device, without having to use root, without any crazy workarounds or anything like that. It's really straightforward. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day and ride on.